Oh, I'm just ready for some Counter-Strike. I am. Strap in, folks. It's FaZe versus G2 IEM Beijing playoffs begin on Dust2. I'm going to go get caffeinated and we're going to get started. All right, straight into this one here. We've got the buys in G2 operating. HG on Jax, couple of flashbangs, smoke and double flashes for Nexa here. No P250s in the mix on the T side and over towards the B bomb site, so looks like they're heading. It's going to be a three-man lean out early from G2. Kyobi towards B. We've got Coles ready to pick middle right now with Brokey and they've just scanned. Nobody home, even Olafmeister close. So they're ready to play in rotation here, Phase Heavy lean towards B. If there's any... They seem ready for this. Yeah, they've got flashes over the top. So Olaf's going to log flashes above the this head. This is going to be so spicy if he gets the timing right. Surely Kyobi... Thinking about it, looking good. Bam, Hunter down to half. He's got a flash and a smoke as well. Drops all that util, segregates, and this is a big fight for Hunter. He could get them both. He adjusts, but Cold Zara's found it. We do still find an even keel, 4v4, but they're in the site. This is about to be a brawl. That smoke's about to fade. Cold Zara lingers within it. Good shots from Nico here. He wants the head of Olaf, and he's got it. Another, this time Rain into the site. If he gets Nico, he's got a chance, and he has whittled them down. He runs out of ammo. Jax 20 HP, and he gets it on the reload, Jax. Couldn't find the head. Rain with a triple kill and FaZe will arrive with a pistol round. Let's see this one again. One, two. What's Jax is running up the tunnels here. Starts taking shots. Rain adjusts. Look at the wiggle of survival. Chad. Oof. That's a way to kick it off right here. You can see Broke. He's going to get fired Oh, they're up. so energized. I'm ready. There's a lot in this one, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Is. Strap yourself in. Humans There's... and their pride. We're such suckers. That, that right there, G2 have actually done quite a few leans in the games that we've covered here towards B on their pistol rounds, or at least an indication of that. So FaZe were ready to play in transition, and they've even knocked them down to just a light pistol buy. Doesn't look like we will be seeing the force. Just that Deagle on Nico is the real scary object. Uh, we saw some of the force buys out of G2 not too long oh. ago. Okay, so he's taking his deagle down mid. He's going to be doing a sweep. Now, something we saw work really well against this is just the passive nature of the CTs. You don't have to give them anything, even though it's tempting. That absence of knowledge, Cold Zera will hold first, fast. Excuse me. Now, they love to take these slow G2, but they've done so many different plays through Cat, and we've seen them win four spies from this exact position. They'll flash, they'll go, they'll get that deagle out towards Gandalf or Quad with that space and hope that he can crack open a head or two. The run boost will help. A flash and a run boost, quite a potent mix. And yeah, missed shot from Brokey. Rain, though, is honed in today. He's popped off on Dust2 many an occasion, holding the record for the most frags in a single half on this map. Just Kenny, not expecting it. So, Kiyabi Rain. collects a nice clean 600. Rain with another triple kill. I think he's on for, uh, is that six now? Yep, six, two triple kills off the starting mark. Let's see that, look at that. Just dealing with the run boost D. And then the run booster. It's just the fact that we've seen dust to a mirage as the opening two maps, I feel that this will favor FaZe. This is a team that has been, been scrapped together because Nico left for G2, right? You heard from Olaf just there. He got the call up. He said, hey, do you want to come play? And he said, yeah, I'll always help the boys out. Well, they're playing right now just with a couple of weeks under their belt. Yeah, but I do think that energy of like, we're not supposed to be here, boys. You know, let's let just pull up our socks and we'll get it done. Well, they've gone... So far, so good. Yeah, the fact that they took down Vitality in such a fashion, I think that speaks wonders to what, you know, a little bit of reduced pressure does for a team. I mean, yeah. Just the uh, impossible to meet expectations that we often set ourselves. And now those, the, they kind of relinquish from themselves. They don't have to fear those. The nade again finds Hunter. He's down to 71. A bonus round of sorts. So there is a distinct advantage to G2 financially here and, and equipmently. Equipmently, that's a new word I've been working on for a while. Well, they've given them cat control, right? And this is one of the bigger issues. If FaZe are able to stop this, shut this down with these weapons right here, they've done a great job. But G2 love these cat executes. They do the avant-garde smokes. They're just going to drop one towards CT, one on the elevator box. There'll be a bridge smoke in the mix as well. I don't fancy Brokey's chances with just a scout. Rain might have to be a hero for a third round in a row, and he's got the right angle. Jax has found him, though, on the hunt. That's a big one on the prowl. Brokey's only got a scout. We need a headshot. Jax, hello. He's also got his own dialogue. There's a story within the story here, and the subplot is Jack's trying to prove that he has more to provide than that of Amanek, a competition within the team itself. Looking to do better than a Stomp versus Astralis at Blast with the Amanek flag flying. Nexa on the hunt. He wants to take everything he can away from this bonus force. The rebuys make it hurt. Kyobi holding his tunnels push. Cold tucked in. They are flashing for info short as well. It's a chance Coldzera will hear this and he will be able to uh, prepare for the potential. 
Does he wall bang him? Does he get a sound cue or do they let this slide? Nico's found him. That could be the AK upgrade, but he heard another. Cold has actually managed to find not only two kills. Oh no, Kinexa. Nexa's getting a bit sketched out now. Finally, Kenny takes the weapon away from Cold, but Fjervi tucked in and safely maintains only the MP9. All right, well, they will be able to buy back in here, FaZe. You mentioned the bonus round. I think Kirby will probably have to drop that MP9 across towards Olaf so he can upgrade. That was the frag, though. A big shot. And uh, look, we can see how quickly FaZe have done their homework. The pistol round, they were prepared. Oh, my God. It didn't even stop. Jesus. I didn't even see a counter strafe. That was a massive shot there from Jax. Now, I want to see how aggressive they are to dealing with these cat plays. G2, they only started to do long rushes towards the tail end of their Dust2 games. They were always doing cat plays, mid to Bs, and fast stuff like this. So barreling down middle, they're going to lead the way with the bomb. Brokey, what you fancy here? He's got Rain alongside. They want to punish this. Oh, Rain, nobody's expecting this. His timing could be perfect. He hears the pin pulled on Kenny. Punishing for one. Doesn't want to overcook it. Nyx is there, and look at the positioning from Cold Zera. FaZe with a real point to prove, but as does Nyx. I can't adjust for the double, and it's already over. FaZe, maintain four, recover three AK-47s, and take that round. In the blink of an eye, that one fell flat. Yeah, well, they bounce back immediately with cat control and phase now. They've taken control of the pace of the game. G2 have to opt in here with either just a light pistol upgrade or an all-in forced by a Nico into the Deagle Kevlar. Hunter going into the Tech 9. It will just be one of these partial investments. They don't have great long spawns. Nico has the best. Next to the next along the line who might be able to just chip on in. We'll be looking for an opening here, trying to use this like an orb. Nico has a couple on the other side to deal with. Molly missed, so gets away with a second pick here. Deeper nade pushes him back off the line. He'll reconsider that. So long pressure and short control within the early stages from G2. The flash again for Kenny. They could try the same play, just team out Cat, see if these deagles can light up any heads in the same way Jax did with that AK, and get that bomb down. Very standard setup from FaZe within the early stages here. Coldzera is already starting to cheat over towards A. There's a lot of pressure on Kirby on B, but nobody's even looking Can towards that side of the map. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It's locked in. Well, I mean, we're only four rounds in. I'm I think sorry. I, I could change it. I think legally we'll have to look at the rule book, don't we? Nico with his deagle, looking for a head, and it will be Brokey to challenge. Oh, there's even a flash bomb. And Brokey ate it, so Nico gets a chance, but it's all good in the hood. The CTs live to fight another day. Rain taps another. This is just a mop up. Lovely stuff. The cleaning crew are there. Brokey and Rain with the mop in the bucket. Five frags for them, and they'll take all of those AKs and goodies into the next. They are starting to build a bank, Chad. Yeah. All right. Look, it's so smug. It's well, only five rounds in. This is the thing, right? G2 obviously have so much explosive potential, but they need to make sure they can get their patterns established early. FaZe have done a great job of already ruining that. That now. short push from Rain was such a perfectly calculated move. They charged down mid, and that was like supposed to be a full round of Counter Strike. Instead, it just felt like it was. Phases from the start. Rain made that happen. Lots of four-man aliens early from phases. Ten as well. and one. They really, they really do not want to lose long in any of these early stages. They don't have an AWP to defend with right now, so the late round here is going to get dicey because Kenny's been able to pick up the big green. Hunter's already taken mid control, so they're realizing at this juncture of the game they Stack can get mid and Xbox quite quickly. Okay, nice. So they'll boost Kirby up. There is a vulnerability for the A take now. Brokey's not filling that gap, but he will. Oh, they're coming middle. This works, and Rain's still hitting bangers. Bait him into and this he's now. baited him in exactly. Kirby should get two here. He's got a really good chance. Spray is a bit shaky, but of course it is with Kirby. Gets to Molly's this. the bomb. It's perfect. FaZe denied the retrieval of the bomb. Kenny actually scoops it up in the flames. Jax has B. They can win this. There's a smoke on Kenny S. The after plan will be a intriguing one. The retake interesting too. Lots of util. Two smokes. I wonder how coordinated FaZe will be given their absence of practice time. Kenny wants to find one off the flash. Brave. He gets it. Kirby now equalizing into a 2v2. Things get a bit spicier as he re-peaks. Kenny's timing is flawless. And so are the shots. That's three. What a turnaround from the French and international squad. They needed that. And so round six is G2's. Yeah, that was uh, integral right there. If they didn't go for that type of a pick, they would have been whittled down by this utility. I was already working it out in my mind to smoke towards tunnels, mold towards back of plat, maybe even more nades over towards car. They had everything they needed for that phase, but just out picked as Kenny off to a big one. And that's an important round for him to be finding some impact. Four to two scoreline now. We'll be buying back in Hunter down to an SMG and double orbs. Immediate response here from phase. Brokey onto a big green, same for Cold Zero. 
Ooh, the flash. Tight line from Brokey was successful in evading any sort of... Oh, Kenny's sort of down. Flashbang. Yeah, I didn't see where that went. And looking at the minimap, now you can see Court Top mid. Olof's under pressure. I haven't seen him frag yet. It'd be good to see his name in the feed here as he gets tested on long. Support from Rain. Brokey with a flashbang. This will be the fight. They want to fight. They want to contest. The smoke slows them down. They're swinging on Olof. Support in Rain. Could be the double. Fantastic from the Norwegian. They lose Olof in the process. He can back away, though. They've done the damage. There is Hunter on the one way. Oh, he's got it. He should have it. Does he? He doesn't see it. Rain's sneaking. Oh, he used the wall to hide it, but I think the tip of the head, surely visible. Yeah, Hunter's got him booked, but traded. And only Nico now at a 1v3. He's got loads of time. But Kirby's locking the door behind him. He cannot leave long, and there's an orb holding his advance. I don't fancy his chances here, Chadney. He has a smoke to work with. That's about it. So I'd have to try and isolate this duel onto Brokey, but... As soon I mean, as there's pressure, Kirby's going to flank. Give me that one flank. tap, bro. Give me that one tap, Kirby. Yeah, but he does have the M4 for the flank. He knows it's a potential, and that was his check. No one spotted. 30 seconds, he advances, hoping to find a little inquisitive Brokey, and still nothing shows. Great toggle on the X-ray. He's close. Nico still... Oh, assumes it's clear. That is the power of just hiding your position, striking when the time is right. Five found for FaZe. And let's see that again, because Rain was a big part of that. He just finds the off angle on the T-smoke. Rain's got a really difficult job towards A. He's the swing man, right? So he's going to be playing between CT, helping Brokey towards Cat when he needs it. Maybe you'll see him hiding Goose. He also needs to make sure he's there constantly supporting Olaf, either within the early stages of the round or the late. And he knows that he's actually punched them down towards the pistols. He's invested into an MP9. This is where Rain can get aggressive and take some fights. The double ops in middle. Xbox Smoke's about to land and Brokey's even forced out to look towards lower dark. Like the molly from cold kind of guarantees the cat push won't be going down. Even the nade chipping away as they wait at the very top of middle. Large gathering, Nico controlling the tunnels push as best he can with what little he has. It is just Deagle, Smoke, and a Flash. Maybe he can try and sell B. That would be his intention. He's lining up a Smoke for the potential of it as they gather short. Oh, great nade. Look at that. Oh. Right between three of them. Huge damage for Hunter Nexa. Jack's taking a little bit as well. And, well, they don't have any of this utility. You're right. Nico has it towards tunnels, so he's going to try and lock the two players towards B. Smoke and Flash are going to do the job. A kill would be even better. Brokey doesn't miss. He's playing retake here. They're going to let up the plant go down. Good reaction. Are they? Yeah, Rain's actually caught another, and he's managing to use the MP9's mobility to actually punish these pistols. Great timing. Look how clean this is. Yeah, it's flawless until Nico arrives in the feed. He's got his Desert Eagle and found the rotating Kirby. Doesn't have the bomb, has 45 seconds and plans to just try and find more damage. You know, his cold was orping on the B tons. Maybe he could catch him unawares. Scavenge away something. It won't be the round, but it could be more than just the Desert Eagle. Cold's holding the tunnels. It would not be any fight that favors him. There we go. Six found for FaZe Clan. It's so clean, Chad. You keep observing just how many people are left alive for the CT side so far in their successful rounds. Yeah, there's only been a couple that have... The, the pistol round was close, right? The pistol yep. round was a close affair, obviously, uh, down to that rain clutch. But all in all, we're seeing FaZe looking... Like they're not over-peaking. They're not taking any unnecessary risks. Their aim is looking very, very crispy, which is dangerous for G2. And they're forced into taking a timeout here. Kenny still has to operate with only an AK-47. They don't have enough money to get him the AWP. And he's a huge reason as to why they even have two rounds on the board. Kenny with the triple True. kill from window, set up by Jax with those flashes. That's what was possible. Kenny wouldn't be able to go for those same type of jewels with an AK. You can see here the scores on the doors. Rain with 15 kills. Now, sure, a bunch of them have been eco bashes, but if Rain takes off, he's one of these type of players, right, who, look, he hasn't been operating necessarily at his highest of his game in all times, but that's because he's been dealing with stars in his team, like the Nikos, like the Cold Zeros. Now, we've heard from Olaf, there's more room, and he's operating with that. He is playing an integral role right now, being the rotator. Yeah, so Rain's record in the one half, he was up against Liquid. This was a year ago go uh, and he got 26 for four in one T uh, CT half all right let's see so here he is uh... CT once again 15 and three he's uh, he's maybe not gonna beat himself but he's certainly gonna get damn close 15 if he can keep running with this momentum he's given him another what world beating performance yeah, he just sends Nico to the shadow realm my microphone sounds kooky as hell, but I hope you can hear me. They're gathering tunnels. Colt Zera is holding it and should have a chance for at least one. Pulls the trigger, misses it. Can he punish? Now they have B. B has been successful for them in the past, and I think CTs may have to play the percentages here. The two casualties were so quick. And they're getting an ult for Kenny now as well, so weren't able to upgrade it into themselves. They'll be picking that up, and they get a free round. So this is two rounds. 
that they've been able to finish on the B bomb site with success. You can see just through T spawn, all of the remaining phase clan members broke it towards top cat. Rain and Olaf are gonna lock them in here. Just want to make sure they can hold on to these guns because they haven't been able to build a crazy bank just yet. You can see Cold Zero and Kirby operating with both under 2k. They will require drops from Rain and Olaf. So these guns are very important to hold on to and any damage they can do like that. Rain is looking so crispy today. It's always a top and he may even finish off Kenny. They're locked in towards tunnels now. They want to keep fighting this. Hunter's looking like he wants to have a bit of a crack at it. The smoke is going to get him towards lower dark. And they can just stay here and survive. So G2 with their third round scoreline now 6-3. to three. Only a lick of damage there from the bomb. We go again. They're so spread out though. We haven't seen them string together any round. This was Brain again punishing Nico's mid Xbox default. That's the shot that got them into the site. And Rain just finding his 17th. So remind you that the record was 26 he set in a single CT half. See if he can keep running on that. Oh no, Nico has had the long spawn and they were going to try and shoot it to him. They've scuffed Ooh. it. Kenny does catch a glimpse of cold. I wonder how much, uh, you know, B hits we're going to see in this game. Because if G2 are only able to find success by exploiting that side of the map, then you need to see FaZe starting to go for more of these 2-1-2 two -two scenarios. Right now, they're still heavily playing three players over towards the A-bomb site. Olaf's still yet to frag towards long. Hasn't really been tested that often because they've been fortifying him with the four-man leans. And now G2 are just going through the standard of their default. They do this run boost towards Cat, make sure they can get control of this. And they have all the utility they want to to set up one of these executes. This time, Rain's not forward of it. Brokey's unable to fight. Do they play retake? Do they fight? They have a bunch of utility to dump as well here, FaZe. Brokey with a molly. Rain's Rain, only operating with that I flash. I swear, he holds different angles when he gets the AK. Like, he knows that one tap potential, the one shot headshot, he can hold that much more confidently in, in transition from CT to that CT ramp. Elevator angle works for him, especially when he's got Brokey in tow. They're gathering short again. So if the smokes start coming out, it looks like they're positioning for a mid-smoke. Next, uh, looking over his own shoelaces. Olaf suggesting and implying they could have been punished long. Good timing on the incendiary. It's actually surged Jacks forwards. He's gone through the flames. That's the bomb is committed. It's a full commitment. Trying to drop CT as well. No one's gone down. Jackson and Gandalf. A shot has been hit by Rain. He doesn't go down though. Through the box. Brokey still yet to be tested on Goose. They're pushing. Anything. Brokey provides the first. They're already on the site. This is getting awkward now. 20 seconds. They haven't been able to break through. Nico finds them the crucial frag. Can Jack start punching in the digits? Rain cannot deny it. He's getting Molotov out of position. Desperately jiggling. Nexa finds another G2. But finding the frags necessary, it's only Olaf. He's already found two. He's been dead silent. These are the only frags he's managed to post. He'd need another two. He's already paranoid about long. One short, one sight though for Olaf to deal with. Has the kit, has time to play with. He knows the potential. And it's Nexa that's patrolling for this ramp fight. Spots him. Olaf has the info. Baits the shot onto Nico. Go on, Olaf Meister. First 4 1v4. I expect nothing less from a legend such as yourself. Time is short. Nexa's playing the time. Olaf confirms it must be Gandalf, surely. Must be. Oh, couldn't quite piece it together. A lovely attempt. But that will be G2 weathering the storm of FaZe Clan and actually breaking them a little bit here as well. Yeah, that got really janky on Aegis there. They got stalled out towards that quad box, not really able to pass. And then as soon as Nexa kills, uh, sorry, Nico kills Brokey, then the floodgates opened. You can see here that Olaf had to stay committed to long because most teams aren't operating with all five coming through the cap position. G2 have a tendency to do that. And now this is where the patterns can really begin from G2. We're going to see them get that short control again. If FaZe keep allowing it, they'll do a strat where they drop jacks into spawn. They do a mid to B split off the back of that. We'll do some where they're dropping players into spawn and then attacking the AWPer who'll be at mid long, probably more likely to play some retake scenarios right now. But in round number 11, it's just down to these pistols. Boosted up his rain. Deagle shot sounds, no damage done. And this will just continue the standard default here. G2 just taking their time, crossing their T's, dotting their I's, making sure that these pistols aren't close, aren't in their face, because we've seen them get unraveled before. Remember Carrigan just the other day, biffing through the mid doors, had CZ75 in hand, making things really I mean, yeah. janky. It takes one P250 with some stupid wide swing, and then a Deagle hits a headshot, suddenly things are awkward. You Pause enough for them to retrieve weapons. Oh, Rain doesn't know he's close. Yeah, he's been spotted out. Nice frag from Hunter. That's going to really open up the floodgates now because they can take space. And look how punishing this is. There's no one there. They can swing up short, gathering all of this untracked space and territory. CTs gather. They'll just have to use their numbers, try and overwhelm Jax. Yeah, kill would be better than nothing right here, but Jax is looking good. Grabs one. 
get stinked up. So they've done a bunch of damage. Olaf finds one. Oh. Brokey's found one, and they've even found a third. Oh, okay. Shouldn't be more, right? They've both picked up a rifle and a smoke. With 2,900 loss bonus in the next round, they could go for this, but it looks like they are playing the percentages right here, making sure they have a full buy. They'll be able to get all the nades up, and this means maybe in future gun rounds where they feel like they have a better shot, they'll be able to invest in some cheeky... Yeah, you take those, though. Dolloff's double D. But he's alive now. We've got him in the server. So in two rounds, he's been able to pick himself up six kills. They're going to need this because Rain already up to 17. He's done a huge job to this point, but everybody else has to contribute. And Brokey needs to be one of the keys here. Yeah. Being that AWPer over towards A, when those cat executes come in, he needs to be finding one. He needs to be slowing them down. Have enough money to buy everything they want on the FaZe Clan. Buy. You can see Brokey into the AWP. as an AK dropped. Cold Zero has an M4 now. I wonder if Kyobi goes into the org. It's something that he has been operating with in recent times. There it is. So that's going to make his life on the B-bomb side a little bit easier. Diffuse kits are plenty. Utility looking good. Everybody has everything they need. And away we go. G2. Into round number 12 once again with the standard spread. Flashes towards long. Jax might go for a pick here. And he's cancelled it. So just walking on in, seeing what sound cues are heard. They might go for a pounce off of this. There's been no Molotov thrown. When this drops, they might extinguish and go. Yeah, here it is. Oh, baby. Brokey's got to back up. They're taking space. A lot of it. And doing so relatively quickly, that smoke enables them to practically call the pit clear. And now set up for a molly onto Brokey's position. He may have to smoke it. Oh, he's happy with leaving it for now. Maybe he can punish them. Can he set up in pit? Hunter's already pushed up to lock the rotate in. Lurking middle. Oh, I like Brokey's chances. On the first, catches Nico slipping. Drops himself a flash for an evasive maneuver out. I don't know if he fancies it. His chances, he's going for it. He's going for it. Kenny's job to punish this. Brokey's still floating. He's kept them at bay. It's getting awkward unless Hunter can be somehow activated. He's already got a lot of attention on him from Olof and Rain. This is a great floating setup from the CTs. And Cold killed. comes from behind. Brokey has caused oh. such strife. Finally, he goes down, takes one with him. Oh, dear. G2, they've had to pay such a heavy price just to cross the river sticks. Jackson Kenny, they've lost three teammates just to get this much territory. And with 35 seconds, their chances dwindle. Olaf has the cross. Rain's taken down his compadre. Flash, hunted. Olaf Meister find another. He has been awoken in these last few rounds. Every single one, he comes back with at least a single scalp. And they've even been able to get the AWP across to Brokey here. So clean round. Seven on the board now for FaZe. Uh, what's and happened to G2's money? It's kooky. 44.7 for Kenny, then nearly a double eco 1700 on one side. Yeah, well, remember those that Deagle round we just had with the two saved AKs. They sure. killed three people, right? So the reinvestment had to come through from G2. And at this stage, even with I know, five on the board, they will have to opt just into these pistols. And that's where FaZe have been able to keep these rounds clean. So they're looking good for eight right now, FaZe. Is if they can string a couple more together towards the tail end of this half, they might be looking good on Dust2. Remember, this is the pick of G2. They picked this map. They decided to take it to one of the brawliest in the pool. I can't I imagine FaZe were probably not too uh, dissatisfied when they saw they got Mirage and Dust2 to duke it out on. Yeah, they're just going to find such comfort on a map like Mirage as well. It's one where we talk about the mid-rounds, all of these players being so potent. And just with these pistols, Cold Zero will have to receive three, maybe four. And look at that, caught sleeping. Kenny not even worried about the mid to B. He goes down, Jax will follow. Bit of stat padding and maybe another clean anti uko from FaZe Clan. We don't usually talk about these at any form of Counter-Strike. Great Molotov, nearly took Hunter down. Six HP. I wonder if G2 now in the next gun round start taking a couple more risks. Do those barrel down mid to Bs where they take a lot of room, try and use their smokes against them, maybe try and all in towards long. We haven't seen that off the bat. We've seen obviously the smoke and the pounce. That's where it all went wrong in the previous. But FaZe don't look flustered. They see the execute coming in. Brokey, especially. Think about how much time he stalled out just towards car. They're doing a great, great job. Yeah. And this isn't a position that Brokey has been playing the entire year until Nico left. He has only been playing mid long and plucking him out of the air like this for a handful of maps. Yeah, but that's also part and parcel of why there feels like there's no pressure because yeah. it's like, yeah, well, let's do A, I guess. I mean, you know, the, the, it's all new. It's all exciting. You can see concentration stations. I see a fresh mouse pad on the bed. He's ready to swap it out on the half. <laughs> Old Sarah's come prepared today. All Sipping right. his Pepsi. Let's get this one started. Zero dollars, goose eggs. They've put it all in the center of the table as G2 look to strive for an eight, seven, half. 
A different call then. Next up, what are you planning? What are you cooking? Kenny being set up for a long peak and nobody home. Olof given a passive hold at this point. And he confirms the orb there. Just a $200 grenade gives him the information safely. And that even enables Brokey to set himself up to hold. This is such a weird pace to this one. It's not the standard default. They already have room towards long, so they're operating with new information here, but re-aggressing face. Ooh. This is risky business. This is very risky. You know the Orpa was holding the line. I assume it will be naded, flashed. Brokey's just setting it up. Is it Rain? Yeah, Rain's holding it. Do they want Olaf to look for info? They want to catch them in limbo, right? If they push out and they're halfway between blue bin and the corner and a flash comes over, that is picture perfect for FaZe. So now the flash? We're waiting for the sound cues, perhaps. Brokey's holding the tight line. Well, they're going to double up car? Oh, they saw him. Oh, he sees two. Kenny gets so much info there. I'm a bit concerned about his livelihood, though. He's down to 50. A big swing. Hunter controls the Galil well enough. That's a huge frag. He's knocked Brokey off the car. We know how destabilizing Brokey's presence was prior. Reigns on the site. Crossing back. Pressure now being applied. Nico, spearhead of the assault. The pointy end of the spear gonna boost this could be punishing nico are you ready for it it seems he is but oh. adjusted great shot through the smoke nexa punishing the boost but rain hitting shots flank as well it's only kenny kirby's punishing oh. and they get it a clean nine for phase clan coming down to rain again with a triple kill 22 he's heading towards the 26 he just has to get a, an ace <laughs> in the last round to do better than he did last time <laughs> that's all all right rain we've had a great half Set the record. You want to run up middle here and look for an ace. I need 27. Well, this is the all-in from G2. They're operating with very little here, and you can see that reflected in the buy. MAC-10 for Jax. We've got Tech 9s on Kenny and Hunter. Of course, a Deagle for Nico, and the same for Nexa. Their utility is good, but they're running out of options. Their cat executor's been stifled. Their A long takes, no good. The only thing that's worked for them are B hits, really. And Brokey, oh, hasn't hit the his legs. shot. Yeah, just between the wickets. If he hits Kenny, that's bomb and the majority of that util on Kenny has yes, gone down the drain. He hasn't used any of it, but he gets across. I think in a, in a round like this, where you're operating with these tech nines, jacks onto a Mac 10, having one of these cat executes where you drop him into spawn and then go for a mid to B would be a good option. But with a minute and 15 left on the clock and this aggressive play from Rain, they might be held at bay. Rain's cleared it and that's caused a rotation. I think they're hedging B right now. Rain's heavy rotating towards CT. That leaves a lot of pressure on Brokey. Cold Zero's already fortified towards the backer platform with that AWP. Very slow stuff from G2 here. No indication so far. The bomb is on Cat. They're actually smoking all the way back from Hunter's position. It's to be. It's the right call from Rain. He's actually in the right spot at the right time. He took that cue so quickly. And now Cold's perfectly positioned for it. They'll bait him in. Hunter's gonna swing. He wasn't ready. Rain hits the shot, and this one is going tumbling down. It's only Kenny S. And he'll be met by Brokey. That is quite the half. Not only from FaZe, but from Rain. 10 to 5, the scoreline. 24 frags, 164 ADR. Rain and FaZe came to play today. i
minutes ago Yeah, I've been getting good at alchemy Life is fun when you're a liar Readying themselves for battle in the second half. Dust 2 and look at this head-to-head. -head. It was told to us by not only Malek, G2's coach, the Nico has come with a new motivation to win this one. But obviously, as we analyze, it's a new pressure as well. You really do not want to lose this game. And for FaZe, every round they win, they can treat, at least psychologically, like a luxury. And it's working. We are seeing FaZe look comfortable. Rain's got his feet up. He's chilling, sipping on his Mountain Dew out game fuel. He's having a blast. Yeah, and on the other side of things, Nico not having the greatest game so far. And if we just look at those two, Nico joined the FaZe Clan roster when Rain was on board back in February of 2017. They had been playing together for over three and a half years. This is the first time they are playing against each other since DreamHack Las Vegas in 2017. Las Vegas, I remember that event. Could have been so cool. Nico is advancing for long, fancies his chances. And of course, uh, battle for information that could be won through deception. Does he push for the info and confirm Cold's angle? Oh, he actually took the pot shot. Cold knew. He had a shot there, doesn't quite connect it, so Nico lives to tell the tale. They gather, though, many of them. What's short? Utils on cold. What can he provide from long with that? Well, the fact that they've gotten shot for free is a huge step in the right direction. G2 won't know when this hit is coming. Nico clearing off towards long again, sees nobody home, but cannot guarantee that because of cold's presence earlier. Now he's actually searching. Cold's regrouping. It looks like they might be setting up for a mid to be here. They haven't seen anybody short. They know that there was long presence, and Nico's still pushing. Oh, he's going for a punish. Nexa's is going to join him. Well, surely no. As he turns the corner, Nexa pivots. Olaf needs to turn around. He needs to turn around now. That's the bomb. Chance for Nico. Oh. Two and two clean taps takes them into a very dire downward spiral. Cold dinks him. Finished off by rain. Maybe they can stabilize. Was it too greedy? Did he overcook the? You. Good damage. Kenny's going to get hunted and Reigns hit another banger. 26 Look now. Brokey. Brokey tucked in to punish the rotate. Jackson Hunter surely ready for this. I think he spotted him. You know, but the shots are hit. Phaser turning this around despite the brilliant heroics from her. Nico. Oh! Brokey, it's a banger. It's all on to Nexa and Colts finish the job. Phase will take 11. I thought G2 had done enough. The bomb was loose. A double tap. Oh, Rain finds two with a P250. You definitely put the right pistol in the right hands. How the hell did Brokey even get there? What was the the overlap? Did he just walk out mid to B straight into CT spawn? While all this chaos was happening with the Nico push, it allowed a little bit of a door. Brokey's actually dropped in from A. So during that push, there was only Kenny on the site. Brokey gets into spawn, completely deals with the rotations, and now G2 have no option. They have to force by. Oh, this Kenny could has be the scout. brutal. This is G2's pick. Losing that pistol is really going to test them here. Oh, no. Okay, the call has been made. Do what you can with what you can buy. It's just Deagle, CZ, single kit. Jack's responsible for that. He's on B. Bombs dropped deep towards the tunnels. And he fucks the same fight oh! to Nico. <laughs> punishing Cold for returning to that long hold. Oh. Oh, you can surely work it out. Hunter, no, under the smoke. Rain catches him. Headed him into that there. So the sound cue working against Hunter is... Rain has 27 frags in 17 rounds of Counter-Strike. Yeah, he's really actually kind of close to the rate. It was 26 and 4 right on the half. He's really not far off in the KD. He went 24 oh, and 1 no. at one point in that game. But here we have it. Rain's looking for his 28th. 
They need to go B. Long's been pushed. Kenny can uh, next can do a lot of damage. He certainly can, and he spots the head of rain. Everyone's hitting bangers. Phase falling. G2 thanking their lucky stars. They had Nico and Nex are on form for this well, round. Nex is not ready for this. Not, and he will be hunted down. He hits oh. the scout shot. Kirby's going to be limping for the rest of this one. Just before he fell, 70 damage inflicted. Makes things a bit more awkward unless Brokey can be the hero. He has got the AK-47 and room to work. It looks like they're trying to split up here. So Brokey needs to do a lot of damage on A. He needs to draw out a rotation and Nico's the man on the side right now. Flash over. He's falling back, so they will be going B. Jack is out of position at least, but look how low Kirby is. Yeah, that scout shot could help a lot. Kirby's got a really tough duel here. One deagle bullet would do it. He actually takes the fight on Kenny S and wins it. Has to win it. this. Has to win this. He hasn't got the time. Needs it now. Oh. Doesn't get it. The round surely over. Jack just has to survive. Oh, that's a good win for G2. They'll take that. Thank you very much. Nico, Nexa hitting some great shots that just slowed them down. All right, well, G2, they feel like they have a second life in this one. It was running away from them quick, but now that they can force, buy in. Yeah, they needed it. They need to make sure that they convert this because we can see the AKs are being dropped across. Kirby has purchased into one. Brokey saved. I'm sure Kirby will be dropping that to somebody else so that they can get head armor behind it. Yeah, there you go. So they're just working this one out in spawn phase clan. And it is a decent looking buy with the two AK-47s and especially in the hands of Rain. Look at that ADR. Absolutely running away with this one. Eesh, that's your, I mean, normally you see that kind of ADR number when we're four rounds in. Not 17. Okay, well, he's just leading the way here. So you're just going to search with these AK-47s. Brokey towards top mid. Rain already pushed up towards catwalk. And it is Kenny mid long with an <laughs> M4. I'm going to say I favor Rain every day of the week for this kind of a fight. Oh, man. It's good to see Rain with a performance to remind us of. I remember the conversations that used to just go, if Rain, you know, Rain used to be the, the Kenny S Titan kind of conversation where you go, well, if Rain shows up, the turret's on. Well, the turret could not very well be any more on. He's closing on a 30 francs in 17 rounds, and Cole now Cold Sarah does need to tread lightly. They're going to double push this. If he gets one, it's something. Jump. Oh, what a shot! He gets them both. Mid air onto Nexa phase. Refuse to bend the knee. How does he hit that shot? That is absolutely insane. Now G2 left in a three on five. They've lost the bomb site. The bomb's gone down. The 40 seconds begins. How do you get back into this? Oh, Cold has just won him around with no right to. Double pushed. The jump from next was supposed to be the, the seal of the deal. You can't hit that shot while Holds Era disagrees. Oh, they need to take away these guns, Phase. They can really rub salt in the wound here. If Kirby can grab one of these, they can take out these M4s. They will be looking hot to trot, but Hunter's actually hanging around for damage of his own. And this is it. Kirby up and over the shake. It doesn't work for him this time round. Hunter does convert, trying to get out of dodge. They're even taking down more. Jax has found two huge kills, so both AKs are on the floor. Oh, this works out. Cold. Actually losing his duel to Hunter as well. So FaZe, they'll take the round. I love keep telling him it's AK-47. I love it when they get caught out. Just makes them look human for a second. Well, buys are in questions for both teams here because now back down to 1,400 for G2. They don't have much loss Ooh. bonus to be operating with. That is a huge shot. I don't know how, he, how he's even ready for that. I think we need to start flirting with the rewind function for shots like that. I want to see him like die and then re be reborn. You want Max to be like a DJ? Yeah, like exactly. All right. Max can I have a DJ moment next time it's appropriate. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to be a partial investment here from G2. They have these M4s. Hunter's invested into a scout. It's Deagle's for the other two. Yeah, Hunter's played well to evade the flash. He continues to try and fight for the info, spotting out rain. It's a big, big stack of CTs here on, C on short. They want to fight for this. Kenny S is there to pick up the pieces of the close quarters. Deagles, that's info. Rain flashed off by his teammate. That does give time for Kenny to fall off. Still pushing Nico. Nico wants it. Kamali him. Kirby's hunting. This is not a fight you'd advise. But Nico does like to throw the rule book out at times. Thinks better of it as they do advance. If they set up for a mid to B right here, it could be lights because there's a crossfire possible. Three CTs could be in CT spawn. We've got one towards window, but it's up a dark push from Hunter. This is a hard off angle to clear. Off, all off, man. You're just not expecting it. Oh, all off. Gets information and a chance taking the headshot of hunter that was an important duel cleanly perhaps not so much he's down to nine but job done coming to the wrap Jax, what can you do sir he's gambling that there'll be late arrival from tunnels yes finding one advancing now bomb faked he's getting pushed he is going to go down g2 needed a bit more out of Jax there because now already with the bomb down and only deagles this is looking perfect for face clan to find a 13th 
somebody maybe fights in this game. Like it looks like it's about to kick off and then it just stops, it stalls out. The jewels get janky and no one's committing to these massive kind of plays here in phase. They're gonna be putting the 13th round on the board. 13 to six now, G2's map choice. They have to hold on to this M4 for Kenny. That's a certainty. These Deagles, they just wanna do some damage. Nico and Nexa just looking for anything at this stage as it's gonna be four rifles held on to. In spawn, just tucked on in next to seeing if he can find anything. But FaZe don't need to push that far for them. Holding on to their guns just as important at this stage of the game. They haven't been able to build too much of a bank with these four spy wars going back and forth. And now they've finally been able to string two together. You can see the bonus operating over there for G2 Esports. And the next round, it's going to be 2400. So they don't have enough to justify a buy. And that's most likely the 14th round for FaZe here. They can stay threatening. Jax is actually dropping across some... I think he dropped a Deagle again. That's 1,700 invested. You've got him into an M4. He's bought in with some Kevlar as well. So interesting that they've given this to Jax here. He's actually getting aggressive. There's oh, no AWP and he's slipped the net. So if they're not aware of this, Jax might be on for one or two. And Olaf. Olaf, so ready for that. Yeah, that is the gun gone. He pushed into lower to take a risk and he's already dead. Nico clawing it back. Another Deagle from Rain could have saved them. Kirby seems to disagree, though. He's taking heads off. Those floppy CT beanies are enough of a distraction. And Nico's doubled up on his Deag. Does need to get away. They're finding frags that could put G2 seventh on the board. But Brokey seems to turn it only momentarily until Hunter and Kenny do stabilize. We get a seventh. We go again. G2, a lifeline. Oh, dear. That was bloodlust from FaZe right there. Just wanting to fight and contest. They knew that they had lost all that territory. They didn't have numbers. The trade potential was not there. And G2 just forced the issue. This flank from Hunter was absolutely everything. You could see there put the mid Caught players. me off guard. I thought he was like totally distracted by those short players. I was staring at them. I wasn't even looking at the minimap. Hunter takes all of that and punishes with the flank, puts the weapon into the hands. The rest just is history. Flashes to contest long, but it's a fast B. You don't see this too often. Are they actually just going in? They're trying to punish Hunter. Jax as well, and it couldn't be easier. That's the rifle gone. There's more into the site. Colt's lost his phase. Starting to see the cracks now, beginning to show. More frags for Jax, can't find it. Bit too aggressive rain. If he finds Hunter, they could turn it around. They need him, and Brokey's found him. Continues to be the star. Look at Kirby's flank. If he drops CT, he could punish Nico here. It's all about timing, though. Brokey yet to plant. Oh, the flank. Now Kenny's vulnerable. This is oh huge. God. Kirby completely rips the rug from under them. What is Nexa meant to do? Stuck 180 degrees, head on a swivel. Rain takes him down from the B side. Great turnaround. And this is 14. And once again, they just ruin the economy of G2. You can see here Jack's operating with nothing. Nexa operating with nothing. Kenny operating with nothing. But they have to buy. They're running out of rounds. Oh, look at this. Was that nade? Was a teammate that was dropped on him? Is that what happened just there? So even more damage coming pressure, through. Pressure, pressure. Hunter's orping? What is happening right now? Give it a moment, let it breathe. Oh no, we just saw next, so I don't want to see him again, actually. That's going to be a death slam moment. This is such an important round, and the in-game leader has been taken down. Their map pick, no less. Advancing through the tunnels, taking the default. They're taking absolutely no risks. Look at Broken Coldzera's positioning, just to prove my point. I mean... <laughs> They do not want to go down to this long bush. It will be a long finish. However, Rain's gone down on his mid advance. Kenny takes a bit of a chance on the mid peak. They're actually going for the NOA boost to contrain, control short. The problem is that they now know that there's an AWP in play. They have lots of smokes to deal with. This four remaining. Kirby's going to drop one towards. Can the they see course. over this? Now they should be completely locked oh, off. That smoke is perfect for the job awesome. here. Oh, Jax might push through. It looks like they're getting ready for it. Oh, good shooting, punished. Brokey quick to the trigger. Still a three on three, bombs in Brokey's hands. Kenny's tucking into B, I like it though. Daddy Orp, Orper on B, gets the info early with his aggressive line. Cold still containing that long push. What a boring role Cold Zera has. Just has to stare at long. They don't know it, but the gap is on A right now. Nico's close doors with the M4. Kenny, B with the AWP. Nico's aggressive. Nico, you are gone. You have just missed a massive oh, gap. No. He's going to be kicking himself. Hunter would need this. Oh, he's actually caught cold slipping. Well, they're going to run to Kenny. They are. The AWP is ready. He's actually playing it passive. He knows time is on his side. He wants to catch them as they're unawares. Now would be a perfect time, Kenny. Bang. Doesn't see the second. Doesn't need to. Hides. Catches Brokey and Kenny wins them the round. Crucial after Nico's overextension. 
They'll take those eight found, and you can see that now FaZe Clan are the ones that have to pay their dues down to a nasty state of affairs. Can we bring up the round recap as well after the replays? You'll see how scattered this half has been. No one's been able to string together consistent rounds. It just feels really janky. It feels very, very janky. Like these jewels that we're seeing, they're not normal fights. It's strung out. People are taking a lot of risks, and then people are not taking risks. It's quite a strange game that we have here within this second half. You see only two rounds posted on the board from FaZe there, and only two rounds away. Consecutively, even two rounds away from closing this one. Oh, Coulter has spurred forward, standing in the molly. Cold. <laughs> it's hot, mate. He's yeah, going to burn to death. That is a Brazilian barbecue. Oh, I could die. I could kill for a good one. I don't think they have one here. And actually, I don't think you can do takeout in Brazilian barbecue. Best two I've had. One was Austin, Texas, and the other was Sao Paulo. Austin, Texas. We have a great Brazilian okay. barbecue. This one here should just simmer out to its logical conclusion. FaZe have a couple of invested pistols here. Going for the run boost, What's you saw this? the same thing. Lock. Get plucked out of the sky. Oh, didn't even get to touch his feet to the floor. Nico's tapped away at another half few. There you go, clean. Precise, satisfying, even more so with the silenced M4. So Kirby doesn't have enough to actually fully invest right here, and Brokey the same. They can get AKs or Galils, but it means they'll be operating either with Kevlar or low utility. At this juncture of the game, I would like to see FaZe play this more conservatively, but remember, they're lacking a coach. So all the calls are coming with the players in the server. There's no Yanko. He's left the squad as well. So it's just Cold Zero and his brain trust of teammates to decide when they should and shouldn't buy, and they've opted in here with two Galils, three AK, uh, sorry, three Galils and two AK-47s. And it looks just like a default spread. Nico getting hyper aggressive. Might have a chance for a jewel here. Using that Xbox smoke to his favor. He's on an island though. Nobody can help him. Oh, well, he thinks better of that. The smoke's transpired. He's operated back towards A. There's a lot of pressure now being applied towards Long. Standard stuff from phase two, taking control of mid, taking control of short now as we get a deep Molotov from Rain in exchange. So they completely negate each other. They're unable to work out exactly what's on the other side. But if they gear up for a mid to be right now, it's the right call. There's no rotation player. This is going to be very punishing. Jax drops his smoke and Nico. Oh, you take a chance. You take a push. You take two, maybe three. Brokey punish. All off court. Jax, did you not see him? Oh no. Oh, okay. Jax needs another. Very much so. It's only Cold Zera, and he's already found the first. Jax has fallen now. Space for Cold Zera to work his magic. A smoke for the cross, a bomb plant likely. Can they push on time? I don't think they can. So both grouped up. It's Kenny and Nexa. Cold to clutch up against his former teammate squad, Nexa and Kenny. Communicating English as they solve this mystery. The flashes aren't going to affect Cold. It's just his crosshair he's relying upon. Needs a clean one. Has found it. Oh. The challenge Oof, wasn't far off. Whistling past the cheek of Kenny S. A scar, but a 10th round. There was almost a chance there. And the B bomb side is one that we've questioned in the past because Jack's traditionally not a B holder, normally over towards long. Since uh, Amanek is not playing this time round, Jax has been plugged on into the unit. He's having to play some positions he's not so familiar with. And B is one of those. So an important round there. And you can see reactions from the coach and the star player of G2. And it's getting tense now, 14 to 10. Money not great for FaZe, even off the back of that plant. They will have to go for just a partial investment here. A couple of flashes, some deagles, a smoke. But they need to hope for a couple of blinding shots. Oh, Miss Molly. So mm. little details here for G2, just not landing and searching again will be Nico. He knows his teammates or ex-teammates default positions and Cold Zero playing the same spot traditionally outside of Long. On that car, we've seen it punish once. We've seen him looking for it on the pistol round as well, but this time they're just going to smoke and drop on back room towards middle now. Olaf taking a lot of liberties here. These have proven that they can win two rounds. These last two, ever elusive. This one likely not the candidate, just deagles and a smoke flash. So 10-5 half. Two, locking it down now. Testing middle again. Nico's got the angle. Got it. Red. Perfectly. That's a nice little stat pad. Trying to get the KD into the positives as they walk up middle into his massacre of the M4. Olaf has caught one. It will only be one unless Hunter gets that 1D treatment. Come on. Oh, he actually hit Nico. Take that. That's two forced three buys. It's something, keeping him honest. Yeah, I might be expecting some scrimming out long here when the 
spawns do favor phase. At the moment, they don't. It's just cold zero with a long spawn. Everybody else more over towards the B-bomb site and Brokey onto the AWP. So with 14-11 as the scoreline, still a couple rounds buffer. We might see FaZe just opt into one of these default scenarios, see if Brokey can work with the AWP, find them an opening pick. Be one towards tunnels. Oh, barreling down. So it's a bit of a change of pace here. They're going to be quick about this, taking all the room early here, FaZe. It's going to be raining Kirby. Flashes out the mid door straight up towards Cat. This is going to force out utility from the A defenders. Lots of pressure as this flash will be thrown. It's going to be the sound cue that they need to hear. And there it is. So with that, they need to jostle for position. Now you're going to see oh. utility thrown out from both sides. And that's a great nade from Kenny. Straight onto the head of rain, down to 50 in the early stages. Yeah, that's a tough burden to bear. Especially when there's so many more HEs to come. Molotovs, you won't be able to disrespect them in the same way. You don't expect FaZe's executes to be as well refined as G2's? No, but this is why I feel like a little bit of brute force, a little bit of cold Zera feeling it, getting a little tingle. It's kind of how I expect these two rounds to manifest. Oh, another great nade. Cold Zero tickled on down now, just Some below 80. One shot headshot range for that M4. Running out of utility towards A as well. Nico has a bunch to support from CT. Kenny's operating with flashes only to facilitate some repeaks, but if they push him off the line, if there's some Stolov some hasn't flashes. used a single nade B. Like, he has maintained that through just presence alone. He'll have his util for the closing, here we are, 30 seconds or so. Jax is jiggling to drop his util. They start trading smokes. It keeps Hunter's feet planted, so this is the push. Starting to commit. Kenny to receive them. Flashed off, tight line, needs one. It's a hard shot, missed it. Now advancing even further, Rain conducts under the crosses. Oh. Kirby takes the fight, brings the fight. Cole doesn't go down to Nico on the advance. He's on the ramp. He's got a chance. Kirby swinging in, ding, down. Go! Oh, it's a double from Nico, and he ain't done yet. Three on four. G2 have an advantage now, but the bomb ticking away. Perhaps that advantage is outweighed by that bomb. <sighs> Especially now, Nico starting to close the gap even more so. It's all on to Olaf, really. They know he's Gandalf, has to take initiative. Rain peeking, sprays there, but the dunk from Nexa confirms it. It will be G2 finding another CT round, and that's five in a row now, Chad. Yeah, and there was just no utility for FaZe to stay active after the bomb went down. You could see Rain realized he had to fight Olaf, trying to get in the mix as well. But as soon as Nico gets that double early on the ramp, they've lost so much space. They're really under pressure here. This is the dink and then into the double. Kirby trying to trade, but the damage is already done. Cold Zero was peppered up a little bit earlier by Nico, and there it is. That frag sealed the deal. And they're battling back into this here phase. So being shell-shocked in that first half, being on the back foot for the majority of this game, they're only two rounds the difference now. AK is facilitated by that plant again for phase operating with the max loss bonus. And these rounds are just stalling out in the early stages. There's no risk. There's no biff and brawl being used. Longer it goes, though, the more I start to uh, fancy G2's chances. It was the speed by which FaZe accrued rounds that I think was really just part of the punishment that G2 had to suffer through. But now as the initiative has to be taken by the T side, FaZe fall a little mute. Well, look at this. Nico's even searching towards A on his own. They just leave this man to be a, a one-man fragging unit. So he's just aggressive towards short with some utility. Now he's just holding the site. There's so much pressure towards long. They've got Kenny orping all the way through the door. So if it is a hit, they can keep their focus on short. Set up again, three towards Cat. Cold Zero dealing with that long push and Olaf babysitting dark, but nothing's changed. This is very, very standard dust too. Yeah, but it's going to come down to the execution. These guys have been playing this map for a decade. Oof. Just now, gentle harassment. It will be time and their own mechanical ability that separates one from the other. Double smoke. Nico's going to swing into them. He's going to get info here, if not frags. You'll hear the steps as they advance. Three are sticking around. About five seconds, maybe seven seconds on that smoke. Nico completely unknown. Oh, Lord. He could do so much damage here. Brokey has Thanks. tagged him, but he still hits the shot. Dropping and finding another. Nico punishes. Four frags fill the feed. It's all CTs. Kenny caught out. Cold gets him. Nexa should be able to tuck in in time. And now with only 15 seconds left, Cold would have to pick up the bomb. He's not going to do it. G2 will find the 13th. And that's a triple kill from Nexa. Double from Nico. The double ends. A duo we had, didn't know we needed. We need a risk right now from FaZe. They're not operating with any intention to find picks early. It's hoping to execute into the wall of G2. And I feel like they're going to be better drilled on these CT sides. And Nico's always in the right place. He finished the first half with only five frags.
I do swear though, Brokey is the only player I see on phase regularly being that guy that catches. You know, when they were going into B, he's the guy that checks bricks. Sure. Broke is the one that watch, sprays the smoke as they're committing. He's always there. He knows how modern Counter-Strike has these ratty, ratty tendencies, nutmegs, etc. Brokey's always there to try and fact check it. I, I want to want to see FaZe right now, see if they can change the pace on this one. We know that they have to go for a partial investment. They have the max loss bonus, which means most operating with just over that three and a half thousand mark into the next round, they get that same cash investment again. So they can invest down to that 1.5K to make sure they get the full buy going forward. And this is the first time out of FaZe. I know that they're only working with the five players in the server, but you feel that this may have been able to come earlier just to have a couple of chats about what's going right, what's going wrong. And it looks like they're going for an all in towards B. That body language right there on the tees, quite a clear indication of where they want to finish this one. There's good utility. Smoke some flashes to work with, but they need to get in and they need to get sufficient trades. It's all in, they're going. Hunter, Hunter. that HE is not going to save you, Hunter. Jax might either. They're pushing him. Flash is a great cold flash has been converted by Brokey. Hunter's got so much to deal with. He's been overwhelmed. Phase. They only need two rounds, and this is a big leap towards finding themselves the 15th. They want to retake. They're throwing everything but the kitchen sink at them, and Olaf's caught that nade on his nose, working with 22 points of health. Brokey doesn't give him the fight initially. Nico just dancing with the window, the barrel. Olaf. Good Molly. The great Molly. Smoke and go. What's the plan? They're talking about it. They have kits. Bomb still ticking plenty of time. Tunnels is smoked. Nico finding the first of rain advances. Brokey on the box. They surely work this one out. Olaf's close. Into the site, spotting another nice adjustment. Brokey on the box. One tons. It's smoked. It's cold. And it's lovely from G2. Denying FaZe's best chance at a 15th in some time. That was most likely FaZe's only chance to get to 15 now. G2 are just looking way too strong. Nico's really come alive in this second half. He has 21 kills in this second half alone. So, so much impact being felt right now from the star leading for his team by a considerable margin at this juncture and ready for the pick of rain. Just having to swing out, hearing those flashes coming, trying to catch them as they're holding the W key and then easy as you like. Just in no man's land, Nico mopping up a few more. Olaf, Brokey, they fall. And we're all tied up, 14-14. It's going to need a miracle play from one of these phased individuals to this get them back in This is so this. strong, Chad. They just need a little injection of life, a little injection of adrenaline. One of the hero plays to remind themselves that exactly what this roster was described as, sold as, and capable of. They got so much util here, they don't want to be seeing it squandered to an early frag. I like that Hunter's rocking the org, very powerful for that B and mid hold. Problem is the same thing's going to happen. Once they take cat control, there it is, the first nade. We've got mollies to come. There's just going to be more utility. Yeah, get it out early, right? Out it, like, let's dump it in the first 30. Let's put enough pressure on that we aren't running through a Molotov and there isn't a chance for a CT to be walking up on our Avangar smokes. I mean, long, that would be a different flavor. If you go clear on this, if they don't molly or spam, Nexa might be in for a couple. And look at Kenny. He's starting to cheat back over towards mid long. He could be in the right place at the right time to shut this one down. But he's waiting for the call. Nexa's ears perk up. It's a perfect flash. They don't check it. What? Cold, you looked. You lazy clear. It's going to be a one for one. It's not over yet. Kenny, Nico, both tested one for one on the swing short. Kenny has to deal with two threats now. He's Rain speaks over the smoke. He still gets one though. Rain challenging, can't adjust. It is a 2v2. This is chaos. Rain can get the bomb down, I think. Jack's coming in from short. Will Pushing it. Oh yeah, he didn't get the info though. Nade will be good, will soften him up at least, but Jax has paid such a heavy price for the chance through the molly. Hunter will have to do a lot here. Rain, Nade does nothing, does get Rain's gaze. Cold's tucked in on pit. Maybe Hunter can be the element of surprise here, but oh wow, Cold's even got the AWP. Looks good for FaZe. Smoke and a flash, here we go. This is the finish. Smoke for help, Hunter finds the frag he needed to. Can't no, see the bomb. It can defuse, surely. That smoke has saved them. Oh no, a miss. Jack's holding, Cold misses again. Hunter has to pressure. He gets the shot, Cold has a chance. It's not fast enough. Oh, FaZe, that's two maybes. So close, Cold couldn't find the lineup. Jax has thrown the round winning, maybe even map winning smoke. Dear, oh dear. And I think he flubbed it as well. I think it was even meant to be deeper, but this is how it kicked off. And you're right, it was a lazy clear. Cold not double checking his corners there and then not being able to land the shot. If he hits that one, it's all over. You can oh. see how close that bomb is. Hunter would have had to choose. Do I defuse? Do I go for the frag? But either way, that's 15 for G2 now. One more from taking map number one. It's going to be a heartbreaker, Chad, if FaZe lose this. They started off so strong. It's the T side where they've met their woes. 10-5 half. G2 have responded with a potential 11. 
to the 10, posted on the CT side of phase. Knocked out. OT looms as well. I'm not going to rule it out, but it has been a real run. FaZe managed to get the bomb down four times in the last, what, seven, eight rounds in a row? It's the same approach again, though. Look at it. It's just slow. It's defaulty. They need to hope that they trade efficiently hitting to site when they've been in these 2v2s and even the number advantage situations. It was just pistols on that B bomb site, but G2, they don't seem to waver. Those retakes. God, it's been a close game. They're doing the same strat. So I think they're going to throw out the same smokes towards Cat. It's more of a retake setup on A right now. Kenny playing over towards Long. If he shuts down these three, Brokey, Onlof, and Cold Zero, if they get locked out by Nexa and Kenny, then it's just going to be all the pressure on Rain and Kirby. There's the smokes. Nico clears middle. The intention, the sound is heard. Kenny's caught one. And there's more where that came from. They do have a chance to take the site, though. Cold doesn't need to die. Tucked in on blue bin. I don't know if he's ready for next. He will look to posture to check it. Bomb down on A. This is going to be an interesting one. There's three crawling up CT. Rage kill. That's a frag and Nico's a half. dead. Nico gone. And another. Looks like overtime could still be on the car to change my mind. Is Hunter and Jack's shots from Rain. He's found his 30. Doesn't need more yet. Now re-peaking, trying to contain them as they advance up the ramp. It's a good hold from Kirby. Chipping away. Jax has fallen. That is overtime. Of course it is. FaZe have found enough. It's a matching 10-5 half for both teams on the defense. We need to catch our breath. And overtime commences as we return from our break.
It's overtime, first map. My goodness, it comes down to the final round of regulation and phase managed to take it to overtime. It looked like G2 had done enough. And I will remind you, I just took a look. G2 have gone three maps in every series so far at IEM Beijing. Chad, maybe, maybe this map pick isn't safe after all. GG.bet believes G2 can close it out. At least that's what the odds are pointing towards. I'm joined by Chaddy B. Spun J for the uninitiated. And we are ready to see how the Counter-Strike shapes up in MR3 16K. They'll have all the weapons, all the bells, whistles, and various paper clips they desire. And they're going with pace here, Chad. So something that was kind of getting your gruff was the fact that we're seeing a very similar T setup default from phase, and it wasn't working. Kenny slaps Rain on the first glance at short, and it's Zendary to stop the punish, and that is the first blood G2 have been going without previously. All right, well, they're operating with a big number advantage early here. A minute 20 still remaining on the clock. Olaf, same duty, same job. Default. He has the bomb the this time, Chad. That's a difference. Typically, it's been parked either dropped behind T-Apps or even over towards short on Brokey. So there's a different look here. Well, G2 can just turtle up now. If they want to play this retake setup that they currently have on the A-bomb site, that's next to tucked in towards Long. Kenny helping out. He can play between mid-long and short. They have Nico locking down the mid-doors, and that allows Jax and Hunter to both focus on upper tunnels. Bit of a wombo combo set up here with the smoke nade. Mid-doors constantly being smoked. That's going to deny phase playing out of those doors and looking for rotations. So they have to commit... Utility behind that. They're taking some space. They're pushing forward here. Back towards B they go. So mid to B smoke lands, but it's been That's, flubbed by their uh, own Molly. Yeah, the Molly's actually screwed him there. And Nico can play around this. He could punish them. The second smoke will arrive, but... Okay, Jax. He's dropped his smoke at the perfect time. They have to go against it. Jax will turn it, but his bullets are going to be important here. As a Hunters, he's caught Olaf on the spray. Bomb now loose on B. Oh, G2. A flying start. A flawless start. Broke, you trying to go for the hero. No scope. The bayonet on his orb doesn't quite find its mark, and G2 will take a perfect CT round. There's one detail here that's kind of changed in this matchup from a lot of the games I've been watching in recent times, is teams would normally drop that smoke off of the CT box, right? So it's in Start, the middle yeah. of mid. But what they're actually doing, G2, is making sure that as they cross to go to B, they're smoking the actual doors. What that denies is FaZe running all the way down middle, using their smoke against them, and pushing out onto their side of the mid doors. They've dropped the standard one this time round. That might be trying to bait them in, but previously it's been that mid-door smoke lots of long attention and cold's actually gotten out this is a bit of a change up previously he's had to battle through two players set up on long but they've denied this early kenny previously finding the first frag will he find another on this boost kirby's maybe not ready he gets hit by the wall a little lip of short saves kirby's hide brokey trading as nico did catch rain's aggression Find a 4v4 very early. They got short, they got long. Maybe this could be a quick finish. Brokey's got his AWP if he needs it. May have been dissuaded from B with how that last round finished. There was two on the bomb site the entire time, and now in the four on four, B's actually the right answer. They've just got one player, that's Jax, but the information, that isn't known just yet. Hunter, where is he? Has he been spotted? Has he been heard? Well, we can see that they he's tucked in towards it? A. They need some information. Dry? Dry. Will they expect Bluebin? Has to clear it, surely. Oh, he hasn't. And Cold Zera's patience has been rewarded. Kenny's attention drawn to long as they flood up short. Hunter spots them. They didn't. Their backs was turned. He's got a flashbang. Kenny will fire off a shot. Missing it, though. Hunter has to challenge. Kirby doesn't check. Completely caught. Now a flash. Hunter can re-aggress. Brokey needs this. Oh, he's missed his shot. Hunter saves the day. It looks like G2 can do it again. A frag from Cold Zera, trying to swing the odds, and another frag from Hunter, keeping things in favor of the G2 Samurai. Cold seconds. doesn't have the time for this, and he's been found by Hunter. Four frags, a quad kill to get overtime started and leaning even further in G2's favor. Yeah, they're winning the mind games right now, G2. They've had the right players in all the right places, even after these trades. Hunter's shot there signaled the doom and the demise in this round for FaZe because they couldn't get past the crossfire. And this shot here, Olaf, he didn't know where to look still. If he was able to win that duel, if they were able to take him down, a two-on-one on the site, very, very winnable. But G2 in the driver's seat now, and this game has looked shaky. The Dak Dak comes out, Rain spamming the mid doors. They went for a long pick, mollied out of position. It is still just Jack Solo on that B site. It's just that one round where they ran into two of them that seems to... That was scary, yeah. Yeah, changed their game plan a little. I mean, don't forget, we had two double-digit CT halves out of both of these guys, so... It's going to be a question of who can post a T round. FaZe have got one more chance. 
And they haven't really taken too many risks here, and this was their last chance to do so. But Molotov is behind Kirby. Oh, and he's ready. He did start his walk, but Kirby caught. Now aggressing B turns. This looks great from G2. This battering ram start from FaZe Clan now falling a little silent. Yeah, FaZe are locked in here. They don't know it, but they're about to be in a lot of trouble. Rain is looking after an absolute Good banger Jax, of a he's shot. He's about to even lock the long lurk. He's going T-spawn. Hunter's actually hit that shot onto Olof. It gets even more uncomfortable now. Oh dear, FaZe feeling a little flustered. Don't blame them. And Cold caught oh, from T-spawn. G2 are everywhere. Kenny deals with short again. Rain with the YOLO play. Kenny collects. That is a flawless CT start on the overtime. G2 given match point and they've got three of them. It will just be for the map in this series, but it was G2's pick. So starting to get back on their feet, knocked on their ass at the start. So easy for Kenny there. You like the idea, but he was still ready for it. Wasn't caught out, wasn't fooled. And then closes things down. So good stuff there from Kenny in the final stages of this one. But all in all, G2, they have three rounds to do this. Three chances at winning map number one. Surely you take a bit of a gamble in the uh, first round or two, right? You do something a little bit off the, uh, off the beaten path. Yeah, you'd like to see something a little bit more aggressive here, but they're more than happy just to go through the paces. It looks like the default once again. Don't speak too soon. Hunter was flirting with that idea. They smoke out the doors, though. Cat control again. When they had success here, FaZe, they were actually the ones to get the opening pick. This time round, they're not dealing with that, so a lot of space is going to be taken here. Lots of utility still for G2. It's a big mid-stack. They got Kirby and Rain rotated in through CT and... B respectively. Haven't shown the other looks just yet, G2. It's been this standard execute and then onto the site. They can still do where they drop players into spawn, where they go back to the mid to B. There's other options here. And with a minute left on the clock, they don't have to decide just yet. Lots of footsteps being made. Those sound cues will be heard. B smokes come out, still no movement from FaZe, just happy to drop their utility in response. It's a fake towards B from Jax now. Molly towards back a plat, and it's going to be the short execute. Here it comes. Ooh, he pulls the trigger, but it's actually just to the knee. Kenny lives to tell the tale, and he actually hits the repeak. So Brokey's gone. G2, four francs is all they need to take Dust2. Kirby flubs the movement, trying to punish Kenny. Yes, he needed that, as does Rain. Phase a battle for survival on the retake of A. Nexa, Nico on the side. Jack's very late to the party. He could find Olof, but Rain's the one coming up. And that's the Olof Meister duel. Jack's cannot win. Maybe Phase can go again. It looks like they might. Nico seems to have other plans. Kiabi's knocked his head off. Nexa looking to deny it all. Three of them closing the gap. Time's on his side. His precision's not there, and they've got time. They've got the kits. Phase successfully. Get to go again. Yeah, just holding on there. It was well handled. They were aware of that lurk. They mopped that up and then the retake. Easy as you like. But all in all, if the bomb keeps going down, if they keep finding themselves in those situations, it's only a matter of time until G2 notched that 19th on the on the board. And that's a great shot from Kyobi. Yeah, man. You say not known to be an opera. I think that one fits for Kyobi quite uh, quite fittingly right there. Oh, yeah. You got uh, a couple of players on the server tonight. I think Rain was one of the, one, the most comical stats you brought up uh, when we were doing the Road to Rio. I think he has like less than 10 less in the entire year. Less than 10 in his, in his year? Yeah. It's not an opera. Not many orpers. It's a B rush. They've changed in the pace. With that, Kirby's going to have to deal with a lot here. And loading. The spray control could be enough. They're so low. Kenny, Hunter. Cold's caught another. Could be FaZe Clan on for a 17th as he's missed his shot, but Rain does not. Jet Kenny, Kenny and Jax are actually rotating out of that successfully. Finding three frags on the advance from G2. They tried something a bit different. The pace change, Chad. We suggested it was a possibility, but it's just been met by nades, by bullets. Kiyobi did a lot of damage there. Kenny's going to have to find a couple here. He is, yeah. Just play around the AWPer. Then and walk up mid. Brokey's holding the CT angle though, so Windows is best bet. Cold's already dealt with it, and there's the re nice adjustment. Pays a heavy price. Jax is working with as much health as he has kills. Brokey and Olaf rotating in to deal with A, and 50 seconds for a very low HP Frenchman. Looks like we're going to be seeing the final round of overtime after all. Yeah, we didn't love Jax on some of those nuke clutches just the other day. He seemed to outplay himself in certain situations, so if he wins this one, it's all just going to be through aim alone.
There it is, Brokey finishing it off there. Three surviving for FaZe Clan, but they have to do it one more time. And that SMG investment, you can see, it doesn't matter. We're in overtime. They can spend all the dollary dues that they like. But just seeing if they can find some space with that accuracy on the SMG, not to be the case. The investment's coming through for the final round of play. All right, then. So, Nico has found his 30. It started much slower, but it's come to life. Everyone that needs to be on is on. And we knew this game would be close, but we're in our final round of overtime in the first map. That's close. As hell. It's another B-Lean. Not deterred this time, Chad, it seems. Early util. They'll just wait that out. Smokes BR fast. Nico fancies his chances as he starts to continue to throw out that mid-util. Hold on, Kirby. Kirby, the solo B player. Cold will have to come on in as well. They've got some control. Jack's on the bricks. Surely, surely that's a punish. One for one. Nexa finds the jewel necessary. Oh, and another from Kenny. This looks like it could be it. They need frags. Olof, Handbrokey, trying to save the day. Another frag comes in. Nico's gone. They've got such low health. And the numbers favor G2. This final round of overtime leaning towards the Samurai in what has been quite the brawl. Another smoke arriving doors. The sound music to the ears of G2. Molly and a smoke for Brokey. And he's in the tunnels to deny. They're running out of time. The smoke's not bad. Olaf with one. Need Brokey to be the hero, but he can't hit the shots. Quad kill. And G2, they take it. They take their map pick by the skin of their teeth. They 